We have our better buddy Jennifer Pace, who is a real mom out there, just trying to figure things out like us. And she has talked to Co uh, the founder of Cooperative Kids uh, and the author of a new book, Love, Limits, and Lessons. She met up with Bill Corbett while he was giving a parenting seminar in his hometown of Enfield, Connecticut. Take a look. Today, we're here in Enfield, and we're going to meet Bill Corbett a local parenting coach who has some great ideas about raising cooperative kids. Be, um, having a temper tantrum and knowing when to walk away or when to intervene and just knowing what to do and how to help him so he can calm down. Both Rebecca and Todd Zenzak of Enfield came out to meet Bill Corbett at one of his parenting seminars to learn more new ways to parent their two-year-old son. So we asked Bill, author of the new book, Love, lessons and limits to share some of his key tools for discipline success. First of all, parents talk too much. They talk way too much. Their children know what to do. They need to be coached and guided, not lectured and spoken to. Corbett says it's so important to build consistent, firm boundaries. Parents need to structure that to get more cooperation from their children. With latchkey kids and blended families, today's children live in a different world than their parents did. Corbett says it's a whole new family dynamic. It requires slowing down a lot. The typical parent, and I know I was one for many years, I raised three children and now I have two grandchildren. The, ch the mind chatter, I gotta do this, we gotta remember to do that. I don't forget to pick up the dry cleaning. Oh, what are we gonna do with the kids tomorrow? I gotta call the babysitter. You need to not s just slow down your body and sit down, slow down your mind. He said it's all about figuring out the reason for the child's misbehavior. When a child misbehaves, it's not their fault. When a child misbehaves, they have either been taught how to behave this way, or they have seen it somewhere, or it's their, it's their opportunity to communicate. He also says parents must listen to what their child is trying to say. And they're trying to say oftentimes, I'm disconnected from you mom and dad. You're too busy racing around, working multiple jobs, having trouble paying the mortgage or the rent. Pay attention to me, and that's when misbehavior begins. Corbett insists on limiting electronics to only one hour a day. This includes computers, video games, and TV. He admits that initially kids are turned off by these restrictions, but he says you must be firm and they'll come around. And when they give their children the power to control that time themselves, the children actually love getting into it because they feel powerful and they feel useful and valuable that I can control my time. And when the electronics time has ended for the day, they learn or relearn how to read and write and play and create. We asked Bill what parents and teachers can expect from his seminars. I'm going to show them that uh, their toolbox is filled with old discipline methods. They don't work anymore. Today's child needs a different approach to discipline. So they're going to walk away with new tools in their toolbox to create cooperative kids and to get some more peace and order for their homes and their classrooms. He even enjoys role playing with the audience. Okay, so I just want you to make me pick up my toy. Nothing else. No matter what I do, make me pick up that toy. Go ahead. This toy? Um, first, I want to show you something, Mom. Watch. I learned how to balance my one foot. Whoa! Whoa! Mom, did you just see what I did? Mom, you're not lucky. Did you just see? Mom, Mom, did you see me? Wait, wait. I learned how to do this. Watch. Mom, isn't that cool? Look what I just learned how to do. She said, have you met my children? Reporting for Better Parenting, I'm Jennifer Pace. So far, she hasn't got him to pick up the toy yet, huh? Well, aside from teaching his parenting seminars, which he has some great ideas that can help all of us, Bill writes a syndicated column on discipline.